Hey, Vern here from the Usawa Fitness Garage Gym Review Channel, and today I'm going to be talking about two to one versus one to one ratio pulley systems. And if you haven't already considered this and you're thinking about buying a rack, you should stick around because I think this is going to help you out a lot. So let's go. All right. First of all, this is a Mikolo M4 Smith machine, and this is a two to one ratio machine. What that means is when you load up the rack and if you load it up with 100 pounds and you go to pull it, it's going to feel like 50 pounds. I know a lot of you guys have been in the gym and you, you've been on one machine and it feels vastly different than the other. It's because one may be a one to one and the other is a two to one. OK, in this case, like I said, this is a two to one. So if you load 100 pounds, you go to pull it, it's going to feel like 50. Now, also for every inch that the weight moves off the rack, you're going to get two inches worth of pull in the handle. Now, this is very beneficial to uh, people who are new lifters because you can control it a little bit better. You can feel it a little bit better. It's a little easier. Uh, now, for your more seasoned lifters, it is different because it's going to feel so much lighter. All right. Now, stick with me because this gets a little bit more complicated as we go, but it's really important to understand this stuff. And hopefully I'm going to break it down and give y'all a good idea of what to buy when you get ready to. So on the one to one ratio system, you're going to load the weight up with 100 pounds and it's going to feel like 100 pounds. And for every one inch that that weight moves off of your machine, you're going to get one inch worth of pull on that weight. So it's going to feel much heavier. Now, Right now, we're just talking about function, right? That's the function between the two. But here's where it gets important when you're thinking about buying a system. Number one, we always talk about balling on the budget here on my channel. The weight that I have over here is probably, I think I got like 340 pounds worth of, um, of uh, plates, Olympic plates. But a lot of you in the gym, you're going to be pulling 150, 200, 250 pounds on your lap pull downs and your seated rows and things like that. Well, when you load up a two to one system like this, you're going to be loading up all 300 of these pounds, right? You can load 340 pounds up. So you're going to be pulling a 170 to pull 340 over here. Okay. So that becomes an issue because you have to Number one, think about if you got two systems and one's $2,000 and the other one's $1,800 and the $1,800 system is a two to one and the $2,000 system is a one to one, you may end up having to buy a lot more plates for that $1,800 two to one system in order to be able to use the machine the way you want to. So we got to think about the additional budget that might have to go into buying a two to one system. All right. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm not saying that's good. It's just something that did, something that I think you guys should know before you bring a system home, build it and start working out with it. And then find out you got to go talk to your boy Bay about buying some more equipment after you don't filled up your garage gym. <laughs> so that's something to think about. The other thing is space. All right. Luckily, the Mikolo M4 Smith machine has eight different pegs for holding Olympic plates. I got three on that side, three on this side, and then got a little side card over there where you could put a couple of, uh, you know, two more uh, stacks of weights. Now, that's great for the Mikolo M4 Smith machines. But when you start talking about a power rack, you're usually only going to have two or four places to put your weights. So you have to think, all right, now instead of loading 300 pounds, I got to load five or 600 pounds. Where do I put all this? Where is the storage in my gym or my space to actually put all of this extra weight? That would be an issue if I was talking about my Mikolo P5R over there. Now I'm building another cage over here behind me. And I'll show y'all that very soon. So if you want to check out more videos like this, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so that I can get those out to you. That means hit that alert button too. But let's keep it moving. Now, let me give you a couple of examples of where I think one machine may outweigh the other in both cases. All right. And the two to one um, sense exercises like lateral deltoid raises where you don't need a ton of weight. The two to one machine is going to be 
the my go-to choice, all right? I, I'm lucky I have both here, but in this case, um, I like the two to one for, for those kind of exercises because just the cable itself with the housing for the Olympic place has weight to it. And a lot of people here that, you know, we lift in anywhere between 10 and 30 pounds when we're doing our lateral delt raises. And we don't need a ton of weight because if I go with the one to one system, some people can't even get it off the rack. And so you get a lot more range of motion with the two to one. And you can also do super setting and things like that because you could, you got a lot more range to put five, tens, fifteens on here without feeling like you are struggling and straining out a muscle. Another area where I really like the two to one over the one to one is in when I'm doing things like cable crossovers where I want a lot of range of motion and I want to really be able to load it up and not feel like I'm tearing up my anterior deltoids just to get the weight off the rack in those type of exercises. Now, on the other hand, when we're doing things like low seated cable rows or lateral pull downs, man, those exercises feel so natural with a one-to-one -one system. And I just really prefer that when I'm doing those type of exercises because I can load it up, feels like the gym. And I like those exercises more on the one-to-one -one machine than the two-to-one. Now, I hope this is helping you guys. If it did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that alert button. I do have another cage to be uh, showing you guys really soon that I'm building over there. And I'll get that one up and out to you guys soon. So if you want to see it, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, hit that alert button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit this button right here to check them out. Now, until next time, stay blessed, stay motivated, and stay fit. Love and peace, everybody. Ow.